Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and welcome to our Haverbytes version of Books and Babies. Haverbytes is just a bite-sized version of our story times. So not to take up too much of your time, just something to give you a little added joy into your day. And for Books and Babies today, I'm going to read The Bitten. And this is adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. And you may be thinking, isn't that book a little long for Books and Babies? It is much longer than the normal book that I would read for Books and Babies, but this is a classic tale and I think the humor and all the animals will really keep the baby's attention. So let's get started. The Mitten. A Ukrainian folktale adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow, there it is, and was left behind. And there's a little something with each page in this book. In a mitten on the side, you're gonna see what's coming up next. So look right there. It looks like a mole. It is. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. What's coming up next? A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. There's the rabbit and the mole squeezing into the mitten. And there's what's coming next. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. So there he is, the hedgehog, squeezing into the mitten. And what's coming next? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. So that look at that mitten getting pretty cramped with all those animals. But wait, there's more! It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. What's coming next? Look at that. Is that a bear? No way. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. 
The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? It's a good point. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. And what's coming next? There, a teeny tiny little mouse. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. Surely a little mouse could fit in there, right? She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. There. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Uh, 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 the force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Look at them, flying all over the place. There's the hedgehog, the owl, the fox, the bear, the rabbit, the badger, the mole. On his way home, Nicky saw the white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. There she is. She's watching. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw he still had his new mittens. But look at Baba's confused face there. What? There's a mitten. What happened to that mitten? The end. That was The Mitten, adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. I just really like that story. I think it's funny with all the animals squeezing in. Plus, it's snowy, which we have right now, don't we? We still have some snow out there. So maybe we should do a little snow song to go along with our snow book. It goes to the theme of Twinkle Twinkle, which I'm sure you guys know, and we get to make snowflakes with our fingers falling from the ground. I mean, from the sky. They don't fall from the ground. Can you guys do this? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So you guys know that one, right? So it's gonna be the same tune. It's gonna go Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. Down you fall upon the ground, down you fall without a sound. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. And Grown-ups, if you're holding a baby on your lap, it's a really cute thing to do, the snowflakes falling down on their face there. Want to do it one more time since it's brand new? Okay. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. Down you fall upon the ground. Down you fall without a sound. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky. Love to watch you floating by. I hope you liked that. I hope you enjoyed today's story. And I hope you're going to have a wonderful holiday season. And I will see you next week. Bye for now.